thank you all for being part of this historic wedding. It's wonderful to have our closest family and friends come together to celebrate this gorgeous couple. Melanie has been dreaming of this day since she was a little girl, and now the day has finally come. Melanie, my incredible baby sister, you are the most stunning bride. Daniel, you're a lucky man. Mel, you're one of the kids. Your magnetic personality has always made people want to be around you and be there for you. You're brilliant and also silly, hardworking and fun-loving. Daniel, I'm delighted to have you as a brother. You're intelligent, nurturing, and protective. More recently, I've really enjoyed seeing you interact with Jojo and my kids, who can't get enough of Uncle Dito. As the person who was there when Daniel first called me and said, I'm thinking of proposing to this girl, and I said, absolutely, that's what you should do. And as the guy who was there a few days ago when Daniel emailed me his vows and said, can you take a look? I want you to know that you're free to treat me as that embodiment of your relationship and to feed me anytime you want. Because Melanie, I know you make a mean lasagna. So, l'chaim to you both, and may you both be very, very happy. Although I love the person Mel was before she met you, I love the person she is with you even more. You bring out her happiest, most confident, and silly side. Not to mention, she's become very open-minded in the last few years, and she claims that she likes camping now. Still haven't bought into that one fully yet. You said it best yourself. You wrote, I love you. These amazing photos only start to capture the way I always see you. Beautiful, elegant, and my perfect partner. So I'll wrap up by saying, Mel, while our friendship didn't start out as a choice, I'm grateful to have been given the best friend I could ever ask for. And I'm honored to be here today to celebrate you finding a life partner who chooses you every single day and appreciates you for the beautiful person I know you to be. I love you both very much. I'm so beyond excited for your journey as husband and wife. So I met Mel uh, a little over two years ago and um, I was instantly just taken aback by how well her and Daniel fit together. Mel, you're just so elegant and warm and just opening and everyone who meets you just falls in love with you. Um, and being able to kind of come into your relationship at a later stage, uh, I was really able to see the two of you, how you kind of work together. There are just so many instances that we've seen you two come together and it's just kind of the setup for a wonderful future for you two. We're so thrilled to be here with you guys tonight. We're looking forward to seeing you grow together and have a lifetime of many children and love and love. But Mel, along with your patience, Daniel is a brother to me and I couldn't have asked for somebody else that's better to join that family. And so uh, I'm really honored for that. And so thank you so much. chose this because it reflects who you are when you're at your best. We're not always at our best, it's just the way we are as human beings. And having this hang in your house reminds you who you want to be and what you want to be as a couple. And hopefully it will help to strengthen you on your path through life. Melanie, it is hard to believe that today is finally here. The day I get to marry you, the woman I love and my best friend. The past five years together have been the best years of my life, and I cannot be happier knowing that I'm going to spend the rest of it with you. 
When you came back from GCK in 2017, I saw your smile for the first time in days, and I knew right away that I love you. Being with you and being welcomed by your family has made me feel that I am at home here, a home that we will continue to grow together as husband and wife. And although we did not kindle our relationship when we first met in college, God gave us another chance by inventing dating apps like JSwipe. And now I cannot imagine living without you. And I promise to always be by your side. A part of me still cannot believe that I'm the one that gets to marry you. I have never known someone with a bigger heart, and I am lucky to have found you. You know me better than anyone else in the world, and somehow, even with all my quirks, you still manage to love me. You are with me when I'm up and when I'm down. You are always there to make me feel better. The way I can sometimes look at you and read your mind makes me feel connected to you in a way that no one else does. When we are together, we can both be ourselves and love each other for who we are. You are my best friend and my one true love. Daniel, today more than ever, I am madly in love with you. When I re-met you, I knew there was something special about you, something different and more endearing than any other person I had ever met. Before you proposed, I was yours. I've always been and will always be devoted to you in every way. I love you for your strengths and your imperfections. Over the past five years, I've loved learning about your big heart, thirst for knowledge, and your desire to make us better. I love watching you care for my nephews and for Jojo. You're the greatest dog dad. You are creative, caring, strong and sweet, passionate and patient. As we become united today as husband and wife, I look forward to our future. To you, I vow to always love you and stay faithful to you. Whether we are rich or poor, sick or healthy, young or old. I promise to be there with you to wipe away the tears and share in all the laughs. I vow to always support you, provide for you, and stand by your side. I vow to be a loving husband and father to our future children on days that are easy and days that are hard. I vow to explore the world and try new things with you. I vow to kiss your forehead, hold your hand, and tuck you in at night. I love you so much, Melanie, and I cannot wait to start the rest of our lives together. As we begin our life together, I'd like to make the following promises. To laugh with you, cry with you, and grow very, very old with you. To stand by your side and sleep in your arms, to comfort you when you can't be strong, and to lean on you when you can. To be a joy to your heart and food to your soul and stomach. To have a lasagna always ready for you to eat on good days and bad. I promise to appreciate, value, and protect the families that we have, the families we are becoming, and the family that we've yet to come. I promise to keep hiding you notes and letters in your suitcases when you go out of town. And lastly, I vow that I choose you every day. Not because I have to, but because I want to. Caring for you is something I look forward to, as your wife, for the rest of my life. To have and to gold until we get old. <laughs> That's the love story I want told. As Ernest Hemingway once said, Why darling, I don't live at all when I'm not with you. I love you. Your power is not just your power alone. From this point on, it comes from her as well. So whatever is going to enable you to break this glass, it's going to not just come from your own source, but you're going to recognize that this person standing across from you is going to share your path through life. You'll walk together, and whenever life's sharp fragments come along, together you'll trounce on them as you go forward.
many of you know Daniel has some interesting quirks. And I am just so glad that you found someone who not only tolerates your quirks, but accepts and embraces all of your quirks, like Mel does. Then I remember, I remember it vividly. I look at this lasagna, and I look at Melanie, and she looked at me, and without saying a word, just read my thoughts. He just put a third piece on my plate. Okay, and then I knew that this day is going to come. Okay. Uh, by the way, for those ladies who want to get married soon, my advice, just take a secret lasagna recipe from Melanie. That definitely will speed it up. We love you. You look fantastic. I'm still surprised how lucky my God, my son got. Uh, you know, he's just absolutely stunning. We love you guys very much. Be happy. Be healthy. And I hope we in your life for as long as you want. I wish you and Daniel the most beautiful and happy marriage, like the one I have with your father. Mommy, I adore you. You're the best husband. Hello, I'm Amir, and I'm so happy to have everyone here today for the wedding of our daughter, Melanie, and her husband. I remember how happy I was when Melanie first spoke of me. She was so excited, and I knew you must be someone very special. I see the way you play with Milo and Luca, and I know you will be a great father someday. I'm excited to welcome you to our family, and good to know you better. <laughs> Marriage is a commitment to love each other, no matter what. It, it is learning to listen, to compromise, and to grow as a unit. Melanie is an amazing and caring daughter. She also my partner at work, an excellent businesswoman, an amazing cook, and someone that I admire very much. I adore you so much, man. Can't say enough how proud I am. cliche to say, but Melanie, you gently played a massive role in my development as an individual, and today, you are continuing to do exactly that, as I learned from your beautiful relationship with Daniel. The development of your love has inspired me to search for a relationship like yours, filled with smiles that make your cheeks hurt, laughter that makes your stomach churn, and happiness that assures you every single day that you two were unequivocally put on this earth to be with one another. Daniel, I'm very excited to welcome you into the family. Melanie, I love you from the bottom of my heart. The Goldfinder clan will always miss you, but you really didn't veer too far from home marrying a Goldfinder. Chaim, everyone, I wish you the utmost happiness. I love you. <laughs> 